All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Overlord Season 4, Episode 9. In the last episode, we had, uh, well, main plot point of the episode was uh, old noble dude, dumbass, uh, basically started near enough a war uh, with the fact that he'd uh, kind of stole one of the kind of food deliveries or I don't know, wh whatever it was that uh, Ayn's, you know, the Sorcerer Kingdom was delivering. Um, uh, which kind of, you know, flags, uh, irons as flags kind of shown on the on the cart as well. Clear declaration as to who it was, did it anyway. Um, obviously, he did that just to kind of scheme and clearly not realized the repercussions that it was that was going to come from this. Uh, the kingdom is now freaking out, of course, or the empire. Uh, and now the episode ended after the after credits, I believe it was, uh, with the king offering his head to uh, the Sorcerer Kingdom, which was insane, and I didn't see that coming. One thing I was uh, told uh, in the last episode was that the theocracy, the the, the theocracy uh, that they keep referring to is in fact the Holy Kingdom, which is apparently a very big uh, translation mistake, which, thinking about it, it, does seem kind of crazy, a whole different place and uh, that they're getting the translations mixed up with, and these are obviously the official translations. Um, well, they're supposed to be anyway so yeah that's kind of crazy uh, i will think about that going forward whenever they mention that now um, of course unless they fix it which hopefully they do at some point although apparently it's been happening the whole season um, but yeah overall i'm very excited for this episode so as always guys like the video if you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new and let's go into this episode right now oh, so that was that says holy kingdom is that now the correct translation or they're just screwing about with it. I don't know. I'll pay attention. Albedo, like, uh, maybe. Oh my god. Even after the king just offered its head. That's crazy. Oh, he's gonna fucking kill him. Let's enjoy ourselves. Just bloody sword fighting. Is there no way to stop this then? This is inevitable? Fuck. I mean, now that she's made that declaration, I guess there's no turning back. Yeah, because they could do it at a moment's notice. They can teleport. Razor Edge. Is this the first time we've heard of its name, or...? Oh, that's cool. So, it's been a month. Are we all ready? I'm gonna go wreck a kingdom? Sure. Oh, wow, okay. A lot of the nobles are moving over then. Damn. <laughs> there were no problems at all. That's just how it go, bro. So. so. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Oh, lines. Uh, not lines. Eins is fucking up the next region. Nice. I'm confused. What's happening here? Okay, this is interesting. <coughs> oh, shit. Wait, we're about to meet Albedo's sister? Is she going to be as hot as Albedo? Damn, it's cold in here. Okay, what the hell? Okay. <laughs> right. Definitely different to Albedo then. Did you chop off your own face? What the hell? She wants it to stop? Or she looks like Eren's Titan. Oh wow. <laughs> I like how she whoops afterwards. So she... So they're both on the side of the humans. Interesting. 
Yeah, that's facts. He knows all about that. He's from the real world. Humans developing shit all the time. Ah, oh, they still got a point to make. Ah, uh, oh wow. <laughs> like she forgets that she's supposed to say that at the end of the sentence. True, definitely. It's like very little people in Nazarick that would actually fend for humans, I suppose. So is that what's going to happen in this next battle then? He's going to save the, or kind of not hurt these humans? I don't know. Is this dude king of this town or something? <laughs> dude doesn't look phased at all. He looks like amazed by it. Bro, dude is not sweating at all. <laughs> like, he's fully accepting the fact that he's probably going to die here. I like I vaguely recognize this guy's voice actor, but I don't know where from. This is a decent uh, leader, it would seem. He just doesn't care. If you save my kingdom, maybe sure, yeah, alright. Can I give birth to your second son and eldest daughter? The eldest daughter. Isn't he still 12 years old? Bruh. Oh, is she... Okay, all right. All right, go to jail. Go to jail. Go to jail! Yeah, that's exactly what he did. I was trying to get my words out. But yeah, he's just... There is an unbelievable-sized army of undead, and he's just relaxed everybody. He's not going to do anything to the Death Knights. Oh, they're sprinting? Jesus, dude. Yeah, just shooting some laser beams at them. Damn, that was a fire fireball. Slap them some holy magic, bro. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Did that just get right through the great, uh, gate? Sorry. Alright, she's buffed up like crazy. Let's see how she does against it. Oh, she's like... Got a second axe? That's cool. Damn! Bro, seeing them go all out against one death knight is nuts, considering how many irons has. Ah, oh, shit. How are you gonna get out of this one? <laughs> Me? Fuck. God damn it. Was that a gunshot? Bro, who? Yeah? A freaking mech? Is this Ainz? Who the hell is this? Bro, if this isn't Ainz, it has to be Ainz. If this isn't Ainz, then this is a player, because this is a freaking mech. What? That's friggin' nuts. You anticipated this, Heinz? Bro, I'm confused. Right, so that was episode 9. Um, uh, Overlord, what the hell? I'm confused as hell. That would seem like maybe... Dang, my lighting keeps changing because the friggin' sun's going down. Sorry about that. Um, my, Yeah, that was really confusing. I don't know whether that was Heinz. I don't know whether that was a player. I don't know whether that was just... Someone in this world that happens to have mech-like artillery, machinery, knowledge of the other world. I don't know. I don't think anything like that should exist in this world. I'm not sure. Uh, it could be automatic. I mean, it was a, it was an adamite, ad, uh, adamantite adventurer, apparently. So I'm thinking maybe it's Momon, but then Momon would probably just come in his normal armor. I don't know. I have no idea. Interesting, though. Very interesting. Uh, if it's not somebody that's under the Sorcerer Kingdom, then I'd like to know where they've got this kind of um, kit from. Because it definitely doesn't seem like it came from this world. Uh, but yeah, overall a very good episode. Definitely looking forward to the next. Um, I had some kind of a plan with that. I don't know what it was. But like, we will find out, I suppose. Very good episode. 
I'm very much looking forward to the next one. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this reaction and uh, the episode along with me. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.